Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about your tire pressure monitoring system on your car. Now in theory, the tire pressure monitoring system on your car is simple. When you're driving your car and the light comes on, like this, that means that, theoretically, one of your tires is low on air. So of course, get a tire pressure gauge and check the tire pressures. Could easily just be a tire that's low on air. I check them all, and be sure to check the spare too, because some of them have sensors in the spare. And to understand what could be wrong, here's how the systems work. Each tire has a valve stem where you add the air and check the air. Well, inside that valve stem, there is a broadcast unit, and it is broadcasting the tire pressure to a computer module in your car. And when it sees that one or more tires are either too low or too high in pressure, it turns that warning light on telling you got a problem with tire pressure. Now this is a wireless system, so guess what? A lot of stuff could go wrong. Normally, it's the sensors, because think about it, each one is a broadcast unit. Well, they have batteries in them. The batteries go bad over time. They last so many years, they go out, they don't broadcast, you don't get a signal, then it puts the warning light on. But the only way you can tell that is with a fancy machine, like this Octel TPMS machine. Even if you find out what's wrong, the battery is inside the valve stem here on the tire, right inside your tire. And since the batteries, one on most of them are non-replaceable, you gotta buy the whole valve stem assembly with the battery and the sensor in it, you still have to take the tire off of the rim, take the assembly apart, put a battery in, put it back together again. Like I said, normally you can't even do that. You just have to take the old one apart, then throw it away, and then buy a new one and stick it in. And that can cost a lot of money. And guess what? You got four tires, there's a sensor in each one. They all work the same way with batteries. So eventually, they're all gonna go out. Let's say you had to replace all four of them. Generally, they're around 100 bucks up a piece. Then you gotta pay the labor to take the tires apart each and put them back on again. So you're gonna spend six to eight hundred dollars replacing them all. Even if you had a tire machine, you'd still have to buy one of these machines. Because once you put the new sensors in, they have to be calibrated to work with the system. Which this machine can do, yes. But, you're gonna go out and buy one of these things? This particular one works pretty good. It's about a $330 machine. Now, Snap-on makes a $1,500 one that works a little bit better. But either way, you're looking at a ton of money. So you're gonna end up paying somebody else to do the job. Now, just for kicks, we're testing the system. I'm testing the front left one with this machine. You can see it shows the pressure. Now we can test each one of them. We push the trigger. Now we're gonna test the right rear. That sends a signal. Then we test the left rear. We send the signal and go to the wheel. Got the signal. They're all okay, but now it's gonna check the trunk. The trunk failed. So the reason the system isn't working is because the spare tire's low on air. This is a cheap fix. All we had to do was move all the crap out of the way and put air in the spare tire. The light came on because the spare tire sensor's showing it's low. Remember to check even the spare when you got a late model car like this. But let's say your batteries go dead, and eventually all four will go bad if you keep the car long enough. You can get an entire system like this for less than a hundred bucks that you can easily install yourself and not have to mess with taking the tires apart, paying a mechanic to set it all up again. Comes with four sensors, you can see they're labeled, but not only are they labeled here, when you take it out, it even says on it, front right, so you can't get confused. All you have to do is take off your valve stem cover, that comes off, and then you screw this cap on. That's it. And of course you use all four. Stick on all the tires. Now this particular one, the Zeus, is an app that works on your phone. Buy the new generation one. The early generation ones from a year or two ago, they had bad sensors that would either leak or they'd go bad after a quick period of time. You need to get the new version or realize there are hundreds of Chinese companies that make similar ones. Some work on an app, some you get a little screen that you can put anywhere that gives the readouts. There's lots of them out there. Do research, use whichever one you want. They all work the same way, and their big advantage is these babies have a watch battery inside. You can unscrew them. You can replace the battery. So not only is it easy to install, you don't have to take the stupid tire apart. It just screws on, and if the battery goes bad, you just unscrew it and put a new battery in it. Almost 
all the models are made that way so you can easily replace the battery when it goes bad instead of paying a mechanic maybe a thousand bucks to replace them all take all your tires apart and then rebalance them then you can read all the pressures you can get warnings you can set up any pressure you want for the maximum high the maximum low the maximum differential being a computer it's got all kinds of stuff on but like I said there are a zillion of these tire monitoring systems you can buy. They're very handy devices and since they cost so little, you're better off installing one of these than you are putting on four sensors and the labor and then knowing eventually if you keep your car long enough, those batteries will go bad, then you gotta go all over again. Why not just override the system with these? Very simple devices that you can easily do yourself. You don't need a mechanic. You don't need the computer to reset it because you reset it yourself on your phone or in the dash unit that it comes with. You don't have to buy that $320 to $1,500 machine. And best of all, you don't have to take your tires apart with a tire machine. Change all the parts out, then put them together and have the tires rebalanced. You don't have to do anything except unscrew the cap and screw these on. So if you're having problems with your tire pressure monitoring system on your car, now you know what you can actually do about it yourself. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.